How's it going everyone? This is Mike from Mike Garn Studio and today I'm going to be showing you how to paint smoke onto a digital painting. This is actually my first matte painting I ever drew about I'd say eight nine months ago. What we're going to do is we're going to add some smoke onto this because it's looking a little bland. We got the we got the plane in the water and it needs smoke. So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a pitcher of clouds or smoke sometimes pictures of smoke works but I have this great picture I I got a while ago that I took here in Arizona of um, during a, a dust storm and it's just these huge crazy looking clouds so yeah we're gonna use this because I really like the way it looks um, after we put down this uh, picture of the clouds shrink it down we're gonna put on a layer mask and then uh, invert it so it disappears and let's just get kind of a rough like interpretation of what these clouds are going to look like so let's just start we're going to start filling in that layer mask with white and uh, begin drawing in these clouds or, or I should say smoke drawing in these the smoke that's going to billow up into the into the sky Okay, and that's, uh, that's pretty rough, but that'll do. Okay, you'll notice, uh, you'll notice a couple things in this image specifically, is that these clouds, the light is shining upwards um, into them. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flip this around to make it a little more accurate as far as the sun is shining down. Let's bring that up. See, that looks much better and uh, we're going to do one better and we're going to duplicate this layer if you're doing like using normal clouds you might want to duplicate a few layers of clouds and uh, we're just going to duplicate it rotate the second one I'm going to rotate it in the direction of the actual sunlight I think that'll help bring together this painting a little more realistic and then uh, bring the opacity down a bit um, I'm going to put mine at about 50 percent and uh, now that adds a little bit of randomness to it so that way it doesn't look just like the same it has a little bit more character to it just move this around to a place that you like and I'm going to put this layer on top of the other layer by uh, what you do is you hold down alt and you click between the two layers to stack the one layer on top of the other and I won't be needing this layer mask anymore so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it delete, there we go yes, delete it. okay now this looks pretty, this, this is looking better but the color is definitely off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a solid color um, layer stack it on top of this also and we're going to adjust the color so it matches the background vaguely so I'm going to color sample this right here this uh, this forest in the back and that's way too dark but we're going to put on an overlay adjustment layer and see that kind of adds like this uh, it, it brings out the color in it and then turn down the opacity to a nice I'm going to say for mine about 85 percent and adjust these guys down a little bit more because they're looking a little bit it's too dark at the bottom I don't, I don't, I'm not really digging that there we go Okay, so now once you have it at this point, you're you're ready to start actually creating the smoke itself because this smoke looks pretty fake. Um, and I'm just using a standard fluffy brush. Um, it'll definitely work better. It'll definitely work better if you use um, an actual cloud brush, but for the sake of people being able to do this easily, I'm not going to do go into that. As you 
can see it has nice, very nice effect. And as long as you get the uh, the proportions right and stuff, it's gonna it's gonna look pretty cool. You just add some add some varying levels of visibility through it. You don't want it all to be totally visible. And for kicks, I'm gonna add another layer of clouds to mine because I think it would definitely benefit. So there we go. That that extra layer of clouds really helped it out. All right, cool. Well, uh, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys uh, I hope you guys learned some stuff and um, keep drawing. And if you guys have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to ask. I'll answer them as fast as I can. And thank you for watching.